Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Carloop. Data to empower Australia's EV revolution. Hey everyone, so we're in Lorbeck, Sydney today to test drive the Xpeng G6. There it is in their showroom. Looking fantastic. Can't wait to go check it out. Okay, so this is the Xpeng G6 that we'll be taking around the uh, streets of the eastern suburbs of Sydney today. We had a short test drive in Melbourne at the uh, Melbourne EV show or the SUV show. Very brief but informative, but uh, should be good today to go for a real world drive. And this is the long range uh, Xpeng G6, so it should be good to see how it handles on our roads in Sydney. Looking good. Of course, once we get a uh, press car loan a bit later on, we'll do a full detailed review of the car and walk around. But for today, we're just going to enjoy the drive, have a quick, I guess, examination of the drive dynamics, and yeah, just soak it all in for the Xpeng G6. Okay, let's have a quick look inside. And soft materials, very similar to the one we saw in Melbourne, of course, and even the one we saw in Hangzhou in China, yeah, there is a couple of months ago. It's uh, been built very, very well and designed well, too. Nice styling across the front there, very nice. All this charging, steering wheel. Xpeng logo, got the instrument cluster screen right there which we'll check out, and then a bit of storage down here too, very nice. Let's have a quick look at the second row, yep, plenty of room, flat floor, storage, three seats of course. Middle seat has a cup holder, I believe, two cup holders. There we go. Very yeah. nice. See how it pops out like that. An armrest. Of course, a glass roof as well. Yeah. And then one last thing. Have a look at the boots. Let's put a logo. Subfloor area, Xpeng speakers, 60-40 split, child seat restraint anchors, 12 volt power outlet there, good lighting, yeah it looks like a very decent construction. Nice, well I can't help myself and do a uh, door close test. Too bad. Not too bad. And this one's running on 20 inch tires, 255, 45 Michelin tires. Pretty sure same front and back. Yep, same 255, 45 R20s. Very good. Pilot Sport EVs. There it is. Xpeng G6. Okay, so that is the Xpeng app right there. Lock the vehicle there, air conditioning controls, windows, trunk. Yeah, can you show us the parking summon? Intelligent parking. So no one's in the driver's seat at the moment. Oh, off it goes. Come back, I want to test drive. <laughs> Let's go backwards too. Very nice. That's very handy for tight spaces. Well, wow. all right, time for a test drive. Let's do it. All right, so I've got um, Paul from Xpeng joining me today on the test drive, and he's going to guide us around the streets here because I don't know the eastern suburbs that well. But. Uh, Great to get his insights as well, um, being the distributor for the Xpeng Rare. Thanks for joining us, Paul. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Um, yeah, so pretend I'm a brand new EV, uh, I guess, potential owner. Yeah. <laughs> Just guide me. Absolutely. You know, it's, a, it's 
to drive it out, yep. Yep. So we're all ready to go. Okay. Yes. Yes. You right to get down? Bit of a tight space, but I'll yeah, try. Just swing it down. That's it. It's a really good test. That's where that um, intelligent parking would have been. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> It works perfectly. Think we're going alright? Yeah. 36 centimetres, oh, yeah. you're right. That's straight out onto Bayswater? Yeah. Wow. We just go to the right. Okay. <clears throat> Two. Go through. Okay. You're right, Tom. Clear. Yeah, wow, it's huge. Navigation, it's all your details. It's great. It's very similar. The AI is you know, very good. It's all the leaders in China with AI. Yeah, I remember driving this in Melbourne, being very impressed with the um, yeah, the it's fantastic. Isn't it? Yeah, I love driver's door. It's easy for you. You can see the screen's clarity is perfect. It's really good. So we've got ventilated seats at the front, heated seats, heated seats at the rear. It's got one pedal driving as well. Mm. It's called X pedal. I can feel that, yeah. yeah. Just adjust my wheel just a little bit. There you go. It's four different settings in the braking. It's quite strong with the one pedal. Oh, you can adjust it. And you've got all your menus here as well. Oh yeah, shortcuts. Yeah, yeah so. Then you can save your shortcuts at the bottom of the screen as well. Yeah, very good. Whatever you're comfortable with. That's running in-house in maps, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Correct. Yeah, we've had the engineers over here for a while, just updating everything as well. Yeah, cool. And you can download apps as well. Uh, yeah, eventually. You can. Yeah, yeah, you can. They're all. Some of them are here now. Is that there? Once you stop, that will come through. All the um, I all the um, pictures of the cars oh. and people walking. Yeah, it's nice and clear, isn't it? It's really clear. Speed. Yeah. I love how the nav comes through here as well. Yeah, having it in front, I think a nice, nice feature. Yeah, me too. And it's not too uh, intrusive. It's sort of built in the dash. So yeah, it drops off a bit. Yeah. You keep going straight. Up? Yeah, we go straight up, up to there? the top okay. there. How do you find it to drive? Yeah, it's very smooth. Very comfy. I mean, there's a few potholes on the <laughs> ground, but honestly, it's pretty good. For a car this size. Yeah, absolutely. It's in sport mode. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> Love the audio cues. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Try oh, to change the regen levels. Yeah. 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 Do, see. do you want X pedal? Do you want the? Uh, yeah, why not? Just want X pedal for you. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. It's not quite one pedal, I think, is it? It's no. Uh, almost there. Not not as harsh as yeah. as some of them. Right here. Yeah. Here we go right.
guys had a lot of interest so far? It's been busy. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gone crazy. And um, test drive started this week, right, I think? Continue. Test drive started this week. Yep. We'll probably roll over to next week as well. Um, we're just going through everyone that's ordered so far since the Melbourne show. Yeah. Um, it's gone ridiculous. Which is good. Will you have test drives in other cities? Uh, we will. Yeah. We will. They'll roll out um, Melbourne and all the other states as well. Yeah. Cars are getting close. They're all on their way. Really? Wow. Can you tell us how many in the first batch or no? <laughs> <laughs> There's a few. First batch is pretty well almost gone. Wow. Uh, then we've got the second batch, which we're still going through. Um, but the way it's looking, everybody will, will have their cars this side of Christmas anyway. Yeah, cool. So we're, we're fairly covered for it. What's the most popular colour? Uh, probably the silver or the grey. Oh. Yeah, but the orange has been quite popular. Oh yeah, yeah. It's quite striking. Yeah, it's been quite a popular colour. Trims, you got the black or the white. Yep. I actually like the white. Yeah, me too. Opens it up a bit. So what I see here is pretty much going to be the final product. This is it, yep, cool. this is it. I think people will be very happy with this. So it's the yeah, right quality is good, isn't it? It's really good. Visibility is great. That's perfect. How do you find the X pedal braking? Yeah, it's good, it's good. I mean, I sometimes I find one pedal a bit too strong, mm -hmm. but this is quite a nice balance actually. Yeah, it's not as strong as some. Yeah, others. Some people may not realise when you push the brake, you can, it's still regenerating in EVs. Absolutely, apps. Oh yeah. So it's got everything. So that'll be built in when you yeah. pick up the car. Yep. YouTube, Spotify, mindfulness app, which is like a meditation type thing. Mm -hmm. Apple Music, Apple Play, Maps. Yep. Three C. It's pretty well. It's pretty well got everything you need. Great. Yeah, I like the maps actually, it's yeah, quite it's, clear. It is, isn't it? Simple, effective. I'd love to test this on the freeway or the highway. <laughs> Not today maybe, but yeah, one day. Yeah, you're right. How do I adjust my mirrors real quick? Oh, uh, that's down here. Uh, Side mirror slight mirror adjustment. Oh yeah? And so you, oh yeah, cool. Oh yeah, that's right. And then this one. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Thanks. Cool. Yep. And obviously you can save that to a profile too. Correct. Yeah. yeah. That's so handy. Yeah, it makes it easy, doesn't it? And um, everyone gets a key, couple of key cards out? <coughs> or? Um, so you'll have the app. Yep. Um, you'll have the two keys. Um, I think most people probably use the app. Because mm. then you've got the auto park feature as well. Nice. And then when you walk away from the car, it'll lock itself once you get about five metres away from the car. You can see it's really effective. Yeah, the pedestrian walk in front yeah, of us. Picks, picks up everything. Yeah. Beautiful trim. It is, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's got a premium feel to it. Nice soft touch. Yeah. Wireless charging here. USB-C underneath. Yep. Plenty of storage. Yeah. Driver monitoring. Yeah. See that? Yeah, if you take your hands off the wheel. Yeah. I must say, I'm a bit old school that way. I like the center. The screen at the front? Yeah, yeah, me too. No head up display, though, is there? No, yeah. no, it's just, just the one in front. Yep. Slide that. Full screen. Full screen that. Pretty responsive. Mm. Yeah. That's the charge, state of charge, 84, mm -hmm. 479, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, notifications. Yep. Would there be any um, connectivity costs? Like if people no. want to use Spotify or anything? No. It's all included. Correct. Yeah. 
no, okay. no other charges. That's good. Over the year updates. That's free. Depending how many a year, uh, we're not sure, but if something new comes out, um, I'll just do it over the air straight away for you. Mm. Yeah, I think the trim's great. Mm. Back seat, heaps of room, heaps of head space. They've designed the back seat really well. Yeah, it's definitely a family car. Yeah. And lots of visibility too for me from here. It's good. Oh, what's happening up here? It's a. It's You've just got a SOS feature, yeah. which I think is standard and everything, just your hazard yeah. lights. Yeah. Air <laughs> advisor. Lights. You can set the settings too, mm. depending on how you like your driving style. Do you normally have the regeneration to maximum? Yeah, usually. Yeah. Yep, you prefer it. Yep. And you can steering. Mm. You can have soft to, to like a firmer. Mm. Same with brake pedal feel. So the adjustments as well. Yep. No truck driving today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ventilated seats is good. Mm, yeah, nice feature. Be good for our summer. Heated, heated at the rear as well. Yep. Excellent. Need that acceleration. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is like a, a nice real world test drive. Like this is more like a sort of day to day grind. It's still very comfy. Hmm. Yeah, suspension settings are great, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's just nice and gentle, not too firm. Nothing's rattling, everything's put together well. Lovely. Okay, so I've got a bit of open road now. Yeah. Where should I go from here? Um, just go straight, I guess that's probably the, the most bit of open road we're going to get okay. by the looks of it. And see the traffic. Maybe we'll go William and then swing to the right or something. Okay. We'll work it out. It's got auto hold, doesn't it? It's it has. Right. Yeah. It has, yeah. How do you find it? It's good. It's really good. I think for the, the price, which I think you guys haven't quite released yet, but yeah, for the right price, it'll be very, very competitive. Yeah. Yeah, and everything's fully optioned. There's no, no metallic paint, everything's standard. Oh, good. Which is good. Okay, a bit of speed now. Obviously, the elephant in the room is the Tesla Model Y. That's probably mm -hmm. your greatest competitor. Yeah. Yeah, correct. I must say, the suspension in this is, <laughs> dare I say, better than the Model Y. It's comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've had the engineers over for a while, just with the maps and... Shall I swing it right here? Yeah. Yeah, now that a lot of the Tesla superchargers are actually open to non-Teslas too. Correct. So that'll help a lot. Yeah, with the charging. Yep. Once it's all rolled out, you'll be able to do 80% in 20 minutes. Yep. I can believe that. Because it's the 800 volt architecture, so you can charge them very quickly. Yep. I think doing a long drive like Sydney to Melbourne or Sydney to Brisbane, that, that'll convince a lot of people. Absolutely. It can be done. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's funny how people have perceptions of wanting to go for a long drive, even though they may not do it, but they need a car that can do it. Yeah, <laughs> to yeah be that's convinced. right. But if, you, if you're fully charged, 570 kilometres, it's a fair bit of range. Yeah, no slouch. Get you through the whole week. Yeah, yeah, it's a fair bit of range. 
Plus, they're doing the whoever buys it, giving them the the charger installed as well at the moment. Oh, okay. The wall connector at home. Yeah. Oh, good. So that's installed. Gives you all the speed limits come up. Even the red light speed camera. Mm, it's handy. Mm. Can I just try one thing? And I can search, let's say, Melbourne. Yeah. Just want to see what happens with EV trip planning, if any. So tell you the route, I think, but yeah. possibly where to charge or I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, so I'll tell you where to go. Yep. And then you can pick charges along the way, I guess. Oh, see how it gives you the battery yep. as well. Oh, there we go. Some options there. Okay, good. Yeah, it's important, EV trip planning. 100%. Tell people where to charge. Yeah. 10 minutes, 13 minutes, that's that's nothing. It's a quick trip to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice feature, isn't it? Yeah, very good. Mm. Okay, we're back. We found a little back route to avoid Sydney traffic. Even with this road, it's still pretty comfy. A bit of roll, but you know, it's nice. Right here, Paul? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, you can't okay, go. Have, we'll have to go left to and right, yep. I think. Yeah, we'll have to go straight oh, down here. Straight in? Yeah, um, further down, I think. And then next right at the bottom. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Weave our way back. Yep, under the train line. <laughs> I think the, the game changer with this car would be the charging speed. It would be so good for road trips. Yeah, yeah, the speed of it. Yeah. yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah, that's perfect. 80%. Probably right then left. Yeah, I just saw that on the trip, trip planning before. You know, stopping that quick, that's like petrol speed, honestly. <laughs> uh, right here? Uh, I think so, yes. Yep. Testing the handling. Yeah, it's comfortable. Very. Cabin's, cabin's quiet. Let's see all the people with their, on their visualizations here. <laughs> great. Yeah, with the software. Well, the camera's come up for too tight. Oh, geez. I haven't damaged a car yet on a test drive. <laughs> Don't plan to today. We've got face in here. Everyone, Paul's a busy man. All those phone calls are explaining orders. <laughs> That's crazy. We just go straight after this. Yep. How do you find it overall? Oh, overall, Paul, really, really good. Really, really good. It's so compelling, honestly. The ride quality, the interior trim, the look outside, the price point, hopefully, trip planning, the maps. Qualcomm Snapdragon, this goes on and on. It's uh, yeah. it's, it's feature packed. Yeah, it is. Seriously, it's a it's a very compelling argument against um, some of the more established EV brands out there. So yeah, looking forward to see the response. When yeah, launch. exciting times. Yeah. Well, Paul might sign off there. So thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Tom. Really appreciate it. Yeah. And, um, leave your comments, everyone, to see what you think of this little test drive around Sydney. Um, a bit more real world than our Melbourne test drive. So. Yeah, confirm what I thought. It's a great car, so looking forward to seeing it at launch. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Okay, so that was the Xpeng G6 around the streets of Sydney. Many thanks again to Paul from Xpeng for taking me around. And uh, yeah, we'll see what the price is like for uh, Xpeng here in Australia, but I can give you some indication that it will start from under $60,000 before on road. So uh, don't know the final numbers just yet, but I think that's some indication, and that'll be very close to the Tesla Model Y, which is the number one selling EV in Australia at the moment. So very interesting times ahead. Thanks everyone once again, and uh, we'll see you next time. Happy charging. It's 
answer. It's a really good test. That's where that um, intelligent parking would have been. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. 